Hi there, it's Teaching Mommy and my Crafty Kiddo. And today we're going to do a super fun experiment making Christmas ornaments. As you can see, we made some shapes yesterday. He made this cool triangle and then I doctored it up to make it look like a Christmas tree. He got to cut all these little ornaments out. So that was a great time um, practicing not only shapes but also cutting. We even made a sphere, which um, he didn't know what a sphere yeah. was, so he does now. And I went ahead and attached the Christmas ornaments to the, what are these called? Popsicle sticks. That's right. I attached the like, ornaments to the popsicle sticks using some string. I didn't uh, tie it at all because I want to use the um, string to put it onto the Christmas tree. Um, and then I can also roll this nice and easy so mm -hmm. that I can put it in the pickle jar and it can hang freely in the pickle jar and I have control over um, the height of it. Uh, one tip that I did see on the internet is to make sure that after the crystallization process you can take the ornament out of the pickle jar. So I did like the, the wide mouth pickle jars and I made sure that the Christmas tree was a little thin. The internet says to use three tablespoons of borax per one cup of boiling water. So we're going to go ahead and dump some of the borax into one of the jars and see if anything happens right now. Yeah. Whoa! So cool! Is that so cool? Yeah, that was so cool! Okay. It's on the bottom. Let's go ahead and put some of the food coloring into the borax solution. Can you help me? You can do it. Squeeze it in there. Yeah, you got it. You're fine. Do a whole bunch. So now the hard part of our experiment. We just have to sit here and wait for the crystallization process to take place. Okay, it's been about an hour. Go ahead and take a look at it, Colin. There's the white stuff on, on other things that we made. Do you know what that white stuff is called? What? Those are called crystals. Crystals? Yeah, do you want to kind of take one out and look at it? Yeah. I don't know if you can see a few of the crystals on there. Okay, let's put it back in. Okay, so it's been about two hours. Do you want to go ahead and make another observation? Yeah. Take a look and see how our science experiment is going. What do you see? What do you observe? Can I take one out? Yeah. What do you observe, honey? Whoa! I was did. What are those called again? Oops. Do you remember? Um, crystals. Oops. Crystals. Okay, it's been three hours. Go ahead and take a look. See what you see. Make an observation. What? Is it stuck? It's stuck. Oh. Oh. What? Turn uh -oh. oh, no. <laughs> well, that's not good. How did it turn like that? Well, the bonus is we were able to fix the one that uh, messed up a little bit, so that's a cool thing to learn. Okay, go ahead and check out the Christmas tree ornament. I don't know what's going to happen. What? Lights? What? Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, so we left our ornaments in the jars overnight, and then this morning I took the ornaments out put them on a cookie sheet with a paper towel and I let them dry. So it's been a couple hours, so now it's time for Colin to look at the ornaments that we made. Go ahead and take a look, bud. Here's our Christmas tree. And here's Grandma's cross. And there's Grandma's cross. Do you like the Christmas tree? What do you think about it? Do you think, cool. do you think it's a little weird though? Yeah. So I like the Christmas tree, but I wish I would have taken out the Christmas tree from the solution a little bit earlier and um, let it dry then. I think I would have had less crystals and I think it would have uh, looked a little bit better. So, so I definitely think we'll do this experiment again and make some more crystallized ornaments because it was fun making observations and um, watching the mixture change. What did you think? Did you like it? Yep. Do you want to do this again? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, if you're enjoying our videos, please make sure to subscribe. Thanks so much. See you next time.